Right, this is one from Anthony Lyon. And he turned around and he asked a question. He said, should you do long distance or should you do short jobs? And the truth of the matter is, and I'm going to throw another one into the mix here, multi jobs as well. The truth of the matter is, there is no right answer to this one. Um, if you get it right, they're all lovely. So if you get long distance, say for example, you go Dunstable to Manchester, and then you drop it off in Manchester, and you get Manchester to Dunstable, everyone's a winner, baby. One pick up, one drop off, one pick up, one drop off. Boom, no problem. If you get short van, small to short distance, 15 miles, you pick it up, you drop it off, and then when pings up across the road, you pick it up, you drop it off, and then one pings up across the road, you think, cool, this is going well, isn't it? I've done five of these in a day, each one of them, small van jobs, 40 pound, but each one of them's taken me three quarters of an hour. Pitch it up straight away, drop it off straight away, pop, 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 all the way through. And then there's multi-drop. Now, if you pick up the multi-drop in the morning, there's eight drops, turns out not a lot of distance in, and every place you get to is open, and every guy says, you just chuck it down there, mate. You hammer all the way through it, fantastic. But don't work that way, does it? <laughs> what happens is you go a long distance, and then you get there, and then there's nothing around, and then there is one around, but it's going in the opposite direction. Or you get small but short job, and you get there, and the distance to pick up the next one is half an hour away. And you get to that one, and the guy says, no, we can't find a package, and you're there for three quarters of an hour. And then the distance to pick up the next one is half an hour. Or with a multi-drop, you get there, and they're outside the gate, and you're buzzing on the gate, and no one's letting you in, and then 20 minutes later, someone comes in and says, no, you're at the wrong gate, you've got to go around the other side. The long and the short of it is, there is no right answer. But there are things that you can do to minimise the pain. If you're going to go a long distance, be aware of the area you're going to. And if it's outside what Al used to refer to as the ghost, if you're going into mid Wales, or if you're going past Northumbria, or if you're going into Norfolk, or if you're going down to Penzance or something like that, that can cause you a problem. So try to go to areas, if you're going to go distance, where you've got a good, that's noisy isn't it? Go, try to go to areas where you've got a much better chance of getting a job coming back from. If you're going um, distance as well, try and get it tipped early. Either get it the night before, or get it raving early in the morning. Can be picked up at five, can be picked up at five o'clock tonight, must be delivered by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Get there at eight, they might be open. In that case, you get it off and then you can sit there and you can go, right, you can have a look around you. If there's nothing, you can shut your eyes for 20 minutes. If there isn't, you can get a job coming back. With, with small jobs, with if you're gonna do short jobs, again, try not to go into congestion areas. Try not to go into like, um, don't go over the Red Sea, because it might only be a short distance job. It can take a very long time in London. Um, cities might take longer. Trying to get, you know, sort of towns maybe not so much. Also helps if you know the area. And as far as multi-drops go, um, look at the gaps between them. Are they going to be like sometimes when I used to do the fridges? I drop one off, the other one might be two miles apart. What's the total distance in the miles? That kind of thing. So the problem is, and it's the thing about the CX, and I always say it's its blessing and its curse, is you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates, except for with a box of chocolates, you do know what you're gonna get, because you just open up the lid, and it says in the back of it, it's on the bottom, or in the inlay card. So it's kind of like a box of chocolates, but you've lost the inlay card. Um, and some days are fantastic, and some days you go, oh God, when is this gonna be over? But it is what it is. The best way to do it is to do it. There's only one way to do it, and that's just to get involved and you'll learn for yourself. And the thing you will find is um, it does get easier. You will start to make some connections and you will start to, you start to get your own little system. I, I always said all the way through, I wish there was a graph or a sheet of paper or a printout that I could put as a PDF and you go, well, if I'm here at this time, at this place, what I need to do is this and this way. It just doesn't work that way. It's much more organic and it becomes a feeling after a while and you kind of just get the hang of it. And that is the best advice I can give you. So the answer is, should I go distance? Should I go short job? Look at each individual job. Weigh up yourself. What time am I picking up? How far is it going? Where is it going to? And that applies for everything, including the multi-drops. Hope that helps. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. In the meantime, take care, take money.